Hello and welcome to Solution Cone. In the last video, we have learned about the form validation and we displayed the error successfully on the top side of the form or anywhere like uh, anywhere in div or a form we can display that errors. But what if we want to show the errors with the respective fields? So this this will not work there. So let's see how to display the errors with their respective fields for example the email id field is required it should not be on the top hand side but it should be with somewhere with this email address or below this or above this somewhere here and the name field is required should be correlated to the name field and it should be displayed here itself age and password similarly so let's see how to do it in the last video we have already uh, done the form validation properly so we have displayed the errors using the validation errors method and we have given some um, stylings to the errors which are displayed here so similarly uh, we will not change anything in the controller because uh, the controller is working perfectly fine so just in that case we just need to work on the view part where we want to show the errors so the validations are working fine everything is working fine just we need to uh, change something in uh, displaying the errors so it will work for us so i'm assuming that i want to display the errors below that field so for that we have a method a different method basically which is nothing but the form underscore error and here I'm going to pass the name attribute I will not remove the old one so it is properly understood what is happening around now you can see that the email ID field is required is coming here also so basically uh, it is coming here but uh, we want to display it same like this or maybe some different CSS should be appearing there so for that basically you just need to pass the second and the third parameter second parameter is like this because I am using a bootstrap so I am going to use the bootstrap classes you can uh, do it custom CSS for the errors and you can use it that too it totally depends on you what you want to do now I guess yes it is working absolutely fine so the errors are displaying with the elements now I'm going to remove this form validation as you must have understood how it is working okay so similarly uh, what we will do is we will just copy this and we will just paste it everywhere with all the fields where we want to show the errors the validation errors okay and uh, we will just change the name of those fields so here the name is name so we'll change the email to name here age so here we are going to do it as age another thing is password so we'll just change it to password and that's it now if you'll notice we have the errors displayed below the fields so it is much more user friendly than the top one you can do any custom styling for this and you can change the css as and when required so currently i have a bootstrap already in on um, included on this page so I'm going I'm using this alert and alert danger which are the classes of the bootstrap if you're not aware of the bootstrap uh, bootstrap 4 uh, I have a video in my channel you can just see that video so you will be good to go okay so this is the way we display the errors with their respective fields I hope this uh, video was helpful please like subscribe and comment below if you have any doubt don't forget to press the bell icon as we will be starting a new coding nighter series for
for project so it will help you developing your skills thank you guys for watching hope you have a great day ahead bye bye